Okay, we've got a question here from Olive asking us, how do we deal with scientific notation, right? So we deal with scientific notation when the base, the coefficient, coefficient, and the exponent are all negative. How do we deal with this, and do they just cancel each other out? So what happens when they're all negative? How do we deal with that? Okay, so let's break it down in a couple of examples. Let's look at um, a typical positive case, and then we'll mix up the negative combinations until we reach a point where everything here is negative to examine what that might mean and why we usually don't write it this way. So here, scientific notation, let's start with 9, positive number 9.2, times 10 to the 4th. Well, of course, what do we do here? Well, 10 to the 4th, if you think about that, that represents 10,000 times 9.2. That means we would multiply 9.2 by 10,000. That'll move our place value over four times to the right. So this decimal will no longer be between 9 and 2, but it'll be moved four places to the right here. And since that's four hops, 1, 2, 3, 4, and one of them is taken up by this digit, there'll be three more zeros. And that's our number. And we're done. So that's how we work with, that's how we work with scientific notation when everything's positive. What if I have a negative coefficient? Negative 9.2, right? This first number is called the coefficient. That times 10 to the fourth equals what? Well, here we have a negative number times a positive number. So everything will be the same, except the result is now negative, right? So in here we have negative 92,000. Not a very large number, but a very small number. And now let's have both the coefficient and the exponent be negative. Well, actually, let's have the exponent be negative first, just the exponent. 9.2 times 10 to the negative fourth. What does that equal? Well, now, this is not a negative number. 10 to the negative fourth means you're dividing 9.2 by 10 four times. So if you imagine every time you divide a number by 10, our decimal will move once to the left. That's because our number, every time we divide by 10, is becoming 10 times smaller. So here we're dividing by 10 four times. So our decimal will move to the left four times. One, two, three, four. One digit hop over here was taken up by nine. That means there'll be three zeros left. So now we get a really small number, a number that's 10,000 times smaller than 9.2, because you divide it by 10 four times. Now what if both coefficients and exponent are negative? Well, sometimes people see two negatives here and think that these things will cancel each other out and somehow be positive, but in fact, our answer is still negative, right? Because this number is negative, but this one's a positive number. This negative exponent is referring to division, not a negative value. So we're multiplying a negative by a positive, and our result is negative. So we, then we can just think of negative 9.2 being divided by 10 four times. This will move our decimal point to the left four times and give us three zeros there. Now this actually is a little confusing because uh, as this decimal gets smaller and smaller, it's actually the value is getting larger and larger because here's zero, here's negative one, right? Imagine every time you divide by 10, you move closer and closer to zero. But with negative values, negative point zero 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 nine two is almost positive. It's actually quite large. If we had negative 9.2, Right, that would be all the way down the number line, it would be a tiny number. So as we divide by 10 over and over again, we're actually increasing in value now that we're dealing with negatives. And if that's confusing, just imagine simply starting at 1. Right, negative 1, if I divide that in half, yes, it becomes negative 1 half. But that moves up on the number line. So every time we divide this whole number by another amount, it gets smaller and smaller in terms of its absolute value but its value is getting larger because it's moving closer and closer to the positives, right? Zero is a neutral number and bigger than any negative number before it. So that's how we can think of that. But what about if everything's negative? So and that's what the question here is asking. So we would have something like negative 9.2 times a negative 10 to the negative fourth. Oops, negative fourth. How do we deal with this? Well, now we have a negative number times a negative number. So the answer is going to be positive. And this time, the, the answer not only will be positive, but we're dealing with division. So we have 
9.2 being divided by 10 four times. So our decimal will move four places to the left, and we'll get three zeros. So this is positive 0, 0, 0, a point zero 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 nine two, and in fact that equals this over here, right? So I guess we avoid writing this because it is confusing to deal with all these negative signs. These two negative signs will cancel each other out and form a positive. So usually we, we would just write this form right here. So there is some balance there between the negatives, but having three negative signs, one applying to an exponent, one applying to a base, and one applying to a coefficient can be difficult to, to think about. All right, hope this helped.